Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime, and oh, we got a plethora of stories for you, three to be exact, and uh, one of them you guys already probably know about, but I want to mention it because there's two things you need to know about it. So first off, there is going to be an Animal Crossing Direct tomorrow, that's right, tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Now, the two things you need to know about it are, one, we will be live streaming that Direct Starting at 7.30, we'll do a little bit of a half-hour pre-show, and then we'll go into the mainstream and then do some reactions after the fact. And two, there will be a special announcement related to Animal Crossing New Horizons from this channel that's important for you guys at the end of that stream. Or I really should say towards the end of the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. Right at the end of that, I will have an official announcement for you guys about something that's related to Animal Crossing New Horizons that you won't want to miss now that's all exciting that's good um i have here in my notes here that it's called um, nook's deserted island getaway package is specifically going to be covered here uh we do know this is taking place on an island it's supposed to be like a vacation kind of thing i don't really know uh but we're going to learn about that for sure so uh yeah stay tuned now next up we actually have a really cool story um and this is because people have been really concerned about the nintendo switch and the game lineup for this year now we don't really know what's coming after animal crossing from nintendo but we now know at least based on something emily rogers said that the first half of 2020 is going to end with a bang we're talking may slash june there's going to be some sort of you know major title or group of major titles releasing during this time and that's because emily rogers said as much that there's going to be a strong end to the year now to note this tweet has since been deleted so you can't find it right now uh but there are a number of websites that picked up on it so we're, we're, in this case i'm sourcing nintendo soup uh who sourced nintendo rose and there's a couple of sites that posted it as well so i'm i'm led to believe this tweet did exist at some point uh and no longer does and has been since deleted uh i'll put a link to the tweet anyways down in the description just to prove that hey look this is where it came from you know you can go back on uh there, there, there's social, certain places you can go to look up old tweets that have been deleted uh i don't know if this one's going to appear because i don't know how long it was up for but either way uh that's exciting news what could that title be i don't know is it is it a super mario odyssey 2 is breath of the wild 2 actually ahead of schedule and dropping this summer i have no idea mario kart 9 has been floated out there at times i don't know what's going to happen uh but it is notable that this this is a thing this is something that occurred i also want to note something about another leaker out there named sabby on twitter uh, apparently has been sent to cease and desist by Nintendo. That's what they're claiming. They haven't provided any evidence this actually happened. Uh, we have reported on some of Sabby's leaks in the past. I'm not really sure uh, what to think of it at this point. I don't know if Sabby was a real leaker. Um, I think they have like all their tweets deleted right now or their accounts locked down. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, and Nintendo hasn't really done cease and desist letters to leakers before. So I don't really... I don't know what's happening here. Uh, so any video I've covered in the past where Sabby was a source, um, just kind of um, bring into question, you know, what that person said because this is kind of a strange situation. No evidence provided. I said in the past that Sabby, you know, claimed they were a journalist for certain websites but never had any evidence they actually worked at those websites public. So I don't know. Um, just something to take into consideration. You always got to be careful with these leakers. But Emily Rogers has been leaking stuff for like a decade, and we've covered her stuff for a long time. Um, if you want to know something from this current generation that, that you could really tie her name to, she was the first person to say that Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle was a thing. So that is something that she is the direct source, the originating source on for that. So anyways, um, yeah, this is pretty exciting stuff. I I don't know what it will be, but why don't you go down in the comments below and let me know what game or what grouping of games you think should cap off the first half of 2020 for Nintendo. Because, uh, I mean, again, we need to know something after Animal Crossing. And I presume since, you know, she's noting there's going to be a strong end of that first half, you know, leading into E3, that uh, we're getting a Nintendo Direct at some point here that's actually going to tell us what these games are because we got to know, right? Now, our last story is actually about the Switch sales in Japan from last week. Now, there's not a lot of notable things in the software list um, compared to the week before, but actually the sales are really strong for the Switch. It moved over 80,000 units uh, after it moved 100,000 the week prior and the week before that, 75,000. And this is in wake of obviously the coronavirus limiting supply. Now, you might think, well, the coronavirus must not have had much effect on the sales if there's still 80,000 moved. Well, <laughs> about that. 63,000, well, really over 63,000 units of those sales were Nintendo Switch Lite. 
Uh, that is the first time since launch Nintendo Switch Lite has outsold the original Switch, which only moved about eighteen to 19,000 units. Uh, that is a massive effect on sales and has only really been upkept because Nintendo had a bunch of Nintendo Switch Lite units that were not sold out. Obviously, uh, with the Switch supply that constrained, where it was doing 60,000 of just the OG Switch the week before down to 18, you got to wonder if the Switch Lite supply is going to start to get constrained. These numbers could dip below 40,000 in the upcoming weeks, is my prediction, uh, until this coronavirus stuff is cleared out and Nintendo's factories are back to working at 100% volume. So, uh, yeah, Nintendo Switch has been saved by the Switch Lite this week. We'll see what happens next week because... I don't know. Nintendo is probably in a world of trouble at this point. Anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know how long this video is. I really don't care. Those are the stories. Let's rip it up. We're done today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see all you guys tomorrow at the Animal Crossing Direct stream. Be sure to tune in, not just for the stream, but for a special announcement that you guys are not going to want to miss uh, at the end of that stream. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be stuff. Uh, it's going to be good. We're, we're, we're in a good place here. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel RoboJans from Nintendo Prime. Leave a comment down below. Drop a like. Subscribe for more content. And I'll catch each and every single one of you guys in the next video.